and we're here. We are here at D on D, and our friend Dennis has been working on a kitchen experiment that's about to make it onto the menu. So we want to come check it out before it actually gets there. Let's go eat short ribs. Dennis, thank you so much for having us Thanks here. For coming. Thanks for coming. Is totally. the pronun is the pronunciation Diandi or Diandi? Diandi. Diandi means let's go eat in Vietnamese. So it's just a cute way of like getting your friends to go out to eat. So what are we doing today? So today I'm going to show you guys a dish that we've been working on. It's a special in the restaurant. I don't know it's a cool technique that we kind of developed here and we're still kind of working on. Starting here, what's on here because I've seen short ribs and they don't always look like that. What do you have going on? How we treat the short rib is we coat it in koji. And uh, what koji is, is a spore, um, a culture that is used traditionally in a lot of Asian stuff. So this is shio koji here. And if you smell it, it smells uh, slightly floral, yeah, a little bit sweet. sweet. It's, not, sweet. it's yeah. not offensive at all. No. It almost smells like sake. Yeah. Um, yeah. And if you taste it, oh, yeah. it's a little salty. I really miss the opportunity to have you just feed me. Yeah. Yeah. That's really great. It's like pretty salty. Mm -hmm. Kind of like, yeah, that's a little bit sweet. The floral comes through. Yeah. So we'll take the shio koji and then we'll apply it. And it's just a light brush. And we'll make sure we get all the sides. And then when you place it on meat, like I said, it starts to break down the protein after a day or two. And then it starts to tenderize it a little bit and it draws out the umami. After that, we'll take it and then we'll steam it in this big sea vat here for 24 hours. You really need that extended time at low temperature to break down all that connective tissue. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with a product that is a little bit grisly, a little bit chewy. For our, for our taste, we find 24 hours would be the right spot at 140 degrees. So you're starting to have this ready for dinner service. Are you steaming it like yeah, so first thing in the morning and then you come back the next morning? Yeah, so usually we'll put this in this, in this huge sea vap um, at the end of the night. Okay. And then we'll come pull it out end of the night the following night. So you really have to be on top of your inventory on this dish. How, so how many are you able to have available per night? So right now we're running as a special. Yeah. It's kind of a, when we have the product in. We're doing like five or six a night and they instantly sell out. I'm sure, yeah. Yeah. Um, it'll come out looking like this um, after 24 hours. And you can see the koji's kind of cooked. And you know, to be very honest, it's not a very attractive piece of meat right now. Um, it's been steamed Come for 24 on. hours. Come Don't on. talk that way about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's nice. It's you know, it's gray, but it's very soft. Oh yeah, um, it looks like it would be really, really hard to the touch, but yeah. it's really, really tender. And at this point, for service, it's ready to go. You know, and it's a two-step process for the pickup. We're gonna deep fry it, and then we're gonna finish it on the grill to get a nice crust on it. Yeah, deep fry it. All right, so we're gonna drop this in the fryer now. How long do you have to fry it to get the? I'd say the about a minute want. thirty. We'll get like a nice color all around it. How long did it take take you to come up with the process? Like, what was the process like for so, you? So you know, a lot of the new dishes, it always ends up just being a collaborative idea amongst the kitchen. So we knew we had this delicious fermented sauce. And what did we dip with the sauce? And it kind of just all came together really quickly. Yeah. yeah, so you're looking now, you've got really nice color on it. Wow. Yeah, those sugars did the job for yeah, you. Yeah, and the sugars did the job for you real quick. We're gonna finish it off now. We're just gonna grill it again to get a little bit more crust and a little bit more color. Why, why, why grill it at this point? You know, you've kind of, you've cooked it to where you want it to be, you fried it, it's crispy. For me personally, when it comes out of the fryer, it's a little too crusty, it has a, crust all around that isn't pleasurable for me. Uh -huh. I want it to kind of soften up again a little bit and then just get a nice crust on the top. So I'm getting a contrast in textures on the side in the top, as opposed to right now, straight out of the grill, it's just gonna be crusty all throughout. That little extra stuff I think adds a, just makes the dish a lot better. So. I have to say, like when you when you feel it now, like it, this no longer feels like a short rib. Can you squeeze that one more time? <laughs> oh yeah, I can oh, squeeze it. Oh. Give it a squeeze! Give it a squeeze! <laughs> it feels like, if this feels like a, like a steak. You're gonna like what you see when we slice into it. Good one, man. Like wow. These catchphrases are really coming along. I got yeah, that one. I own that one. Yeah. <laughs> That's all minute. On the grill, it's gonna be real quick. It's gonna take about a minute, minute and a half. So all this work for this short rib, really the reason why we're doing this is to eat this sauce. This is mam nem. It's a, it's a pretty stinky product. 
Um, it's so stinky that they double top it. I've never come across a sauce that needed to be double topped yeah. because you're just like, ah, the manufacturer is like, it's thick. We take made it easy, it. buddy. Yeah, yeah, we made it, and we even know you don't really want to smell this. <laughs> exactly. This sauce on its own is pretty unpalatable. So in order to make this a delicious sauce, um, we have to kind of doctor up a little bit, add some sweetness. The, the acid we're going to get is from some lime juice. And then we got the pineapple, we have ginger scallion, and then a chili condiment. With lots of lemongrass, chili, and then a little shallot oil. We're just going to mix it up, and that's really it. Can I feed you? Oh, please. Dennis, it would be an honor. Oh, that's really, really good. The citrus and the pineapple? Yeah. Like, really calms down that, uh, that fish sauce. That Sweet, is so tangy. Good. Cool, so let's do a plate up. Yeah. Let's eat. So, you know, we're getting a nice. Oh, man. That's nice, gorgeous. Yeah, like a really nice. A nice mid rare. Mid rare. All the fat has yeah. been kind of cooked off. You're totally. not getting like gristly pieces in there. Rendered, but you still have a lot of that it, yeah. fat structure in there. Usually, we're going to take this and we're going to wrap it um, kind of like wrap style, kind of like a Korean song, kind of. So. Yeah. I'm gonna serve it with a bunch of Vietnamese herbs, lettuce, and this woven vermicelli. And you're gonna wrap it all up, dip it in the mam nam, and put it in your mouth. It's a eat with your hands type of affair. My favorite kind of affair. Here you are. <gasps> Cheers, guys. Cheers, Cheers. man. Cheers. This is After awesome. you. Get a little dip. A little dip will do. Mm -mm. No? no? That one's not gonna work. No okay. one? Wow. So that's short rib. No. Mm -hmm. That is so good. This is so much better than a braise. Yeah. I don't know if it's better than a braise, but it's it's a it's a different style. Dude, it's just better than a braise. Than a braise. Yeah. Dennis, thank you so much. Thank this you. is such a great experience. So awesome. Thanks, guys. So delicious. Um, now we're gonna eat the rest of yeah. this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Hope you're uh -huh. done. For more episodes of Primetime, click somewhere on this screen. Somewhere on the screen. You probably know by now. You probably know where to go. You know what? The bone's the best part. Catchphrase.